Advertising. We see it everywhere. But what we don't see is the ads aimed not at us, but at the people who sell to us. And the ads in trade mags, well, they tell a different story. Take VB. We all know how VB's advertised to us. A hard-earned thirst needs a big cold beer. And the best cold beer is Vic. But in National Liquor News, Australia's leading liquor industry magazine, this is how VB's advertised. Vic Bitter retains these loyalists and helps keep them spending in your venue. Which I don't remember from the TV ads. You can get it jumping. You can get it pumping. You can get it being retained as a loyalist as you keep spending at a venue. American Express says this to you. It's all about helping you get everything from greater rewards to more memorable experiences. But even if you don't remember those experiences, American Express will. Because this is what they say to traders in Australian Hotelier magazine. Real-time spending data we compile from billions of transactions globally creates a unique view of your customers. Spying on your customers may be standard practice, but even advertising has moral limits. After all, the Advertising Standards Code states... Advertising shall not depict material contrary to prevailing community standards on health and safety. And the government agrees. Tobacco advertisements not to be published. That's why when cigarette companies advertise to you, it looks like this. <laughs> they can't advertise to you at all. But in convenience world, the trade mag for convenience stores, petrol stations, news agents and tobacconists, it's a different story. Unfortunately, the laws about showing you cigarette ads are so strict that we can't even show you the ads the retailers see. So we've had to make a few minor adjustments to the ad you probably won't even notice. Bursting with coolness, it's the perfect time for a new highly mentholated value offering. Turns out there's a loophole in the tobacco advertising ban that lets cigarette companies advertise to retailers. But don't worry, advertising promotes good causes too, like Dermalogica. They use it to promote Fight, a charity that helps female entrepreneurs in poorer countries. The goal, to help women in developing countries access small loans. Although they're adding professional beauty, the leading business-to-business -business magazine for the Australian aesthetics industry shows that's not their only goal. See for yourself how Fight will contribute to your healthiest bottom line ever. And a healthy bottom line means they can sell us more cigarettes bursting with coolness. 